Greetings to every one of you. I appreciate the Almighty God how He has kept and preserved all of us. We are healed and healthy to God alone be all the glory. Um, this evening, we are about to look at something very interesting. But before that, let's pray together. Mighty Father, we thank you so much. We give you all the glory for all that you have done for us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because again, we want to listen to your word. Bless us greatly. Open our eyes that we may see wondrous things out of your word. And help us not to despise these things that you want to teach us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It is time for you to forgive. It is time for you to forgive. Today we are looking at forgiveness. In Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21, the Bible says, Unto Adam, Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them. This is what God did after Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They failed. They disobeyed the commandments of God. But we see that why they now knew that they were naked, in spite of the fact that they disobeyed God, God still made clothes. He still made clothes. And what? Clothed them. He made coats and clothed them. God was so merciful in spite of the offense. That's why today we are looking at forgiveness. What a great example we see from the Almighty God himself. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They broke his commandments. Yet, he made coats and clothed them. There was no record of Adam apologizing to God or Eve apologizing to God. Rather, they were pointing accusing fingers to the other persons. Yet, God made coats and clothed them. Firstly, let us look at what it means to forgive. This is one of the things that have been neglected greatly in this our generation. People are willfully unforgiving, yet they cover it all. It's even unfortunate that even the so-called Christians in this our generation refuse to forgive. In pretense for strictness. Let's look at what it means to forgive. To forgive means to pardon offense or debts. Somebody has offended you. Somebody is indebted to you. Whether in terms of material things. Whether in terms of responsibility. Or he has willfully hurt you. To forgive means to pardon offense or debts. To forgive means to remit offense or debts. To forgive means to overlook an offense. It's clearly an offense. It's clearly a hurt. Yet, you overlook it. To forgive means to treat the offender as not guilty. The person has offended you clearly. The person has done evil to you clearly. Yet, you, for, you, you refuse to treat the offender as being guilty. He is guiltless in spite of his offense. To forgive means... To refuse to impute guilt on the offender. He has offended. He has done this. He has done that. Yet, you refuse deliberately to impute guilt 
on the offender. To forgive means to pardon an injury. Somebody may have injured, injured you physically. Somebody may have injured your reputation. Somebody may have injured your family. Somebody may have injured your career. Somebody may have injured the blessing you should have gotten. To forgive means to pardon an injury as though you were never injured. To forgive means to pardon debts, fine, or penalty by reason of the person's action or worse or character or attitude or negligence. He deserves a penalty. He deserves a fine. He is indebted. Yet, you pardon the person and cancel the penalty and cancel the fine and cancel the debts. To forgive means to overlook a wrong or mistake and still do good. To overlook a wrong or mistake and still do good by correcting it lovingly. The question is this. How do you claim that you have forgiven somebody when you still hold him guilty in your heart? Matthew chapter 6 and verse 12. Have you forgiven all that have offended you? Matthew chapter 6 and verse 12. These were the words of Jesus himself. He said, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Listen to me. I don't know how long you have been preaching. I don't know how long you have been reading the Bible. You may quote Genesis to Revelation. You may tell us an expert that you are. You may, you may have all kind of knowledge, all form of knowledge. You may be a professor. You may be so high, so rich, so wealthy, so famous that nobody can even attain where you are. You may still be poor. You may still be lowly. But... If you don't forgive others their debts, God will not forgive your own debts. The forgiveness of your debt from God depends on how much you forgive other people's debts. Jesus said, And forgive us our debts, plural, as we forgive our debtors. As long as you do not forgive your debtors, your own debts can never be forgiven. This has nothing to do with administering justice. This has nothing to do with punishment or discipline on those that offend. It has to do with you forgiving your debtors not for their good, so that your own debts can be forgiven by God. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. If you do not forgive others, you may preach, you may explain, you may defend whatever you want to defend. You may even use scriptures as a reason to punish this, to, to do this and to do that. But Jesus said, if you do not pardon others, if you do not treat others as guiltless in spite of their offenses, your own guilt will not be forgiven. Your own trespasses will not be forgiven. Trespasses mean they made wrong clearly. Some of them may not even apologize for it. 
Some of them may not even desire to be forgiven. But for the fact that Jesus has commanded, if you don't forgive, you will never enter heaven. If you don't forgive, you will never have the Holy Spirit. If you don't forgive, you can never have peace with God. Have you forgiven everyone? Forgive everyone and move on in the power of the Lord. He said, so no matter your explanation, your, no matter the excuse, no matter the degree of what that man, that woman, that boy, that girl, that employee, that employer, no matter the degree of what has been done against you, if you do not forgive, your own trespasses will never be forgiven. You may pray for five hours. You may pray for ten hours. You may be the most dedicated Christian in your church. You may be the most famous person. You may be outstanding, wealthy and rich, highly positioned. But if you do not forgive, other men, their trespasses. God will not forgive you your own trespasses. You punish others for their offenses, you will be punished for your own offenses. The scriptures cannot be broken. Let us look at uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 25. Matthew chapter 18. Verse 21 to 25. Do you know that it's possible for your sins to be put back on you? Your offenses, your trespasses. You can still be punished by God even though you are forgiven before. You can still be punished by God if you refuse to forgive others. Chapter Matthew chapter 18 and verse 21 to, to 25. And it says, Then came Peter to him and said, Lo, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee. Peter said, Till seven times Jesus said unto him, I say unto you, I say unto thee, until seven times, but until... S Please, let me take that again. In Matthew chapter 18 and verse 1 to 25, and he said, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servant. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him his, the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he will not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgive thee all that debt, because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. 
verse 35 now. Remember, we are reading Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. I'm reading up to 35. Jesus said, verse 35, So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your heart forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. That's what Jesus is saying. This fellow, this servant was forgiven. But because he went and his fellow servant offended him and he refused to forgive, his own forgiveness was cancelled. But the master has forgiven him. The master has ruled over his own judgment. But because that master refused to forgive, because that servant refused to forgive, the master cancelled his own forgiveness and he was now tormented. And Jesus straight away commanded us that in our own lives, if we refuse from our heart genuinely, not that you say with your mouth that you are forgiven somebody and you are still punishing the person indirectly, the person may not even know. You begin to apply certain stringent measures of punishment, sometimes secretly, sometimes in a hidden way, sometimes even openly. Yet you may even profess with your mouth that you are forgiven. Jesus is saying, from your heart, forgive, replace it with love, replace it with kindness. If possible, back it up with practical love and give to that person to really show that he offended you, you forgive him and still love him so much. Jesus is saying, our Heavenly Father will not forgive us. Our Heavenly Father will throw us into hell. For they torment us to torment us all our lives if we refuse to forgive others, even when we were forgiven. We were forgiven. Jesus had mercy on us while we're yet sinners. Christ died for us. So this scripture should touch your heart. This scripture should affect you. This scripture should be fulfilled in your life. Forgive so that your sins will be permanently forgiven. As long as this servant, as long as he lived in forgiveness, there was no way his own sins would have been mentioned unto him any longer. He felt that sometimes because you felt God has forgiven you, and even if you refuse to forgive others, it will not matter. That's not true. If you refuse to forgive others, your own forgiveness can be cancelled. Who is still left for you to forgive? Forgive today. In Mark chapter 11, verse 25, let's see what the Bible says there. Mark chapter 11, verse 25. Forgive everyone and move on. Forgive. Forgiveness drowns your wisdom. Forgiveness chokes your peace. Forgiveness brings worriness and anxiety to your life. Forgive and continue. Mark 11, verse 25 to 26. He said, and when ye stand praying, forgive, if you have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. That is clear enough. If you refuse to forgive, you try to explain, you try to use defense, you try to use logic, you say, if I forgive, Others will be careless. If I forgive, others have used me. If I forgive, eh, when I've lost this, I've lost that. All those ones don't matter. All the same, Jesus said, forgive. You are the one that will be happy. You are the one that will be successful and rejoice. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32. Forgive. Has anybody deceived you? Forgive. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32. Look at what the Bible says. It said, And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. Just like God forgave you for the sake of Christ, not because you are good, 
not because you are sinless, not because you are fault free. You sinned against God. All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But God, for the sake of Jesus, forgave you. You also, for the sake of Jesus, forgive your fellow brother. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 13. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 13. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Forgive. Forgive one another. There was a query is not an excuse. There was an argument is not an excuse. There was trouble is not an excuse. You were cheated is not an excuse. All the same word, forgive. Remember, it is the pure in heart that will inherit the kingdom of God. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 7, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You cannot have purity of heart. When you refuse to forgive, forgive sincerely from your heart. And in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8, the Lord Jesus himself told us very clearly, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. You will never obtain mercy if you refuse to be merciful. To be merciful means to pardon, to remit, to overlook. To see person as guiltless in spite of whatever the person may have done against you. Somebody may have stolen from you. Somebody may have tricked you. Somebody may have been selfish. Somebody may have cheated you. Maybe in business, a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, a friend may have abandoned you when you needed them so much that you almost died. You may have been gossiped. They may have, uh, maybe they backbite you and they despised you and then something happened that you lost everything because of somebody's wickedness. All the same, God said what? Forgive. Maybe your car was spoiled. Maybe your house was destroyed as a result of that wickedness from the other fellows. All the same, God says what? Forgive. Forgiveness does not mean weakness. Forgiveness does not mean lawlessness. Forgiveness does not mean fear. No, you can't lose forgiving because God is a forgiver. Forgive even those that refuse to apologize. Forgive. Whether they apologize or not, forgive. Forgive your father. Forgive your mother. Forgive your brother. Forgive your sister. Forgive your cousins. Forgive your relatives. Forgive that teacher. Forgive that pastor. Forgive that politician. Forgive that boy. Forgive that girl. Forgive that your business associate. Forgive your daughter. Forgive your son. Forgive your children. Forgive your workers. Forgive so that God will forgive you. Pardon them. Let go. Forgive that your auntie. That your tailor that spoiled your clothes did a lot of uh, things that you didn't like. Forgive. Forgive your driver. Forgive your doctor. Forgive that lawyer. Forgive that laundry man. Forgive your staff, your guardian, the maid in the house. Forgive that lecturer. Forgive your boss. Forgive that bank. Forgive those robbers, armed robbers. They may have killed your daughter. They may have killed your son. They may have destroyed something in your life. Forgive. Let God be the one to punish and let God be the one to exercise vengeance if he chooses. If you don't forgive, you must end up in hell if you refuse to forgive. Your pastor will not help. Even Jesus will not help you after death if you refuse to forgive while on earth. The tormentors, of course, you know, they are demons that will torment you in hell. Another thing is this. Forgive yourself. Let go that grudge against God. God has been answering other people's prayers. God has been doing this for that. God has been doing this for this. Me have been in this church. Me have been in this place. I've been in this war. Is it as, are you sure God really loves everybody? And you begin to look for ways to blame God. Forgive. Let go that grudge against God. What are you imagining, imagining against God? 
You have to make some calls. You have to send some messages. You have to write some letters. You have to make some holy visitations. In a proper way. In a clean way. Forgive. Let go. That malice, forgive. Said, I will not call him again. I will not call her again. You know, I will not bother again. God says, forgive. Forgive. Even the person, even if the person you are forgiving has no interest in it, all the same in your heart. Forgive. No excuse. No defense. You must forgive today so that God will show you mercy. Forgive everyone and move on. When you forgive, you will have joy. When you forgive, you have wisdom. You have peace. When you forgive, you have knowledge. When you forgive, you have understanding. When you forgive, you have clear direction. Forgiveness that even God sees in your heart that you have truly forgiven. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 12. He said, Hatred stared up strives, but love covered all sins. You pardon. You cover all. Not that you cover some and leave some. He said, hey, This thing that this person has done, I can forgive him this one. I can forgive him this one. I can let go this one, but I'll punish him for this one. I'll punish him. No. And remember that God is love. So, love covered all sins. Don't change the word of God. In Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 9, the Bible says, He that covered a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeated a matter separated very friends. When you cover up transgressions, when you cover up offenses, when you cover up evil, injuries that have been done against you, in forgiveness, in complete pardon of the person who have done such a thing. According to the Bible, you are seeking love. And remember, God is love. And love never faileth. All the challenges and troubles will come. But a man that forgives, a woman that forgives, a pastor that forgives, a brother and sister that forgives, will never fail. Maybe that's the reason your business is not doing fine. Maybe that's the reason you're not doing well in your academics. Maybe that's the reason you're having issues in your ministry. Repent today and forgive and the Lord will show you mercy in Jesus' name. Please, the Lord is pleading with you. Will you forgive? Don't despise this message. Allow this message to sink into your heart. Please forgive. Just let go and let God take over. Joy will come. Progress will come. Success will come. That thing you have been desiring to have for a very long time, God is going to give it to you. He will give you a job. He will provide for you. Has that man failed you? He promised to marry you, messed you up, dumped you, failed you, maybe because of his errors and your own errors. Forgive. And the Lord will also forgive you. Forgive. Don't take it for granted so that your soul will not be damned. Let us pray together. Almighty Father, thank you so much for those that have heard your word. As many as will be making a decision to forgive all those that have offended them so that you'll be able to forgive their own sins. I pray, O oh Lord, give them the grace. Give them the power. Make everything to work very well for them to forgive one another and to be in love. Help them to let go from their heart completely so that your presence and your power and your goodness will be made manifest unto their lives. In the name of Jesus. As a young girl now, you are washing me. A, a, a boy slept with you and you got pregnant. And while you got pregnant, the, the boy ran. Uh, he started running away and behaving in a very funny way. 
and then you went ahead and committed abortion and you you know you have so much pains and you went through a lot even when the young man did not even care and you've been like you've been saying that you will never forgive that man you will never forgive no please i want to plead with you now as the lord is speaking with you forgive and the lord will forgive you also the lord bless you all in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Don't fail to subscribe. Don't fail to like. Don't fail to share. So that when we upload new videos, you'll be able to watch them. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen.